active violence too, a different kind of violence. Um, it's a poem for my friend Peter Halla, who was the first person that I knew uh, to die of HIV disease, and the first person I knew to have a panel made in his memory as part of the Names Project quilt. And Peter was a person who, who loved everything to do with the royal family. Uh, he was a queen collector. <laughs> his, his panel had a big applique crown on it, and it read Peter Regina. <laughs> this is called Tiara. Peter died in a paper tiara cut from a book of princess paper dolls. He loved royalty, sashes, and jewels. I don't know, he said, when he woke in the hospice. I was watching the Betty Davis Film Festival on Channel 57, and then at the wake, the tension broke because someone guessed the casket closed since he was in there in a big wig and heels. And someone said, he's not here yet. He's probably still fixing his makeup. <laughs> and someone said, he asked for it. Asked for it. When all he did was go down into the salt tide of wanting as much as he wanted, giving himself over so drunk or stoned, it almost didn't matter who, that they were beautiful, stampeding into him in the ravishing music of their hurry. I think heaven must be perfect stasis, poised over the realms of desire, where waking and sleeping men lie on the grass while wet blue horses roam among them, huge fragments of the music we die into in the body's paradise. Sometimes we wake not knowing how we came to lie here or who has crowned us with these temporary precious stones. And given the world's beautifully turned shoulders, deep hollows blued by longing, given horses thundering and chiming in, in orchards, fruit thundering down, what could he do? What could any of us ever do but ask for it?